Okay, so we're going to uh, start by uh, making a blackjack game. And right now, what I've done is, uh, you're going to want to go to GitHub first. And you're going to want to get um, Canvas Basic Studio. Okay? And you want to get that running. And that's the one that just has the red dot. You want to rename it and, you know, figure that out. Um, and what I've done is, um, well, yeah, I guess do that first, is pause the video right now get a copy of Canvas Basic Studio, get it running so that you see the red dot and it's just, it's, it's ready to go and it's in its blank format. And then come back, I'll, I'll be here waiting for you. So go ahead and pause the video. Okay, welcome back. Um, so hopefully you've got this set up where you've got the red dot. Now, what I've done is inside of the main activity fragment, um, I've created a text view. You should be able to do that. Set the color to white. And you can see inside of um, my XML file, here's our text view, and it's got the text, hello world. All right. And that is what we see here. Okay. Uh, inside of main activity, I've also got uh, a button set up. And uh, let's take a look here inside of my fragment main again. Here's the button. All right. And it's assigned on click, click method. All right, inside of main activity, I've got click methods set up. So essentially, the button right now does nothing. Okay, and that's the point you want to get to. You want a text view and a button. Pause the video and uh, get that set up. All right. So what I've done is once you've got this set up, we're going to create an array of 52 cards. Each card is, is going to be its own class, right, or its own object. So I'm going to click New Java Class, right, and I'm going to create a card that, um, that works like this, okay? And um, this class card just has a couple of different values. Every card that we're going to work with in this game is going to have a suit and it's going to have a rank. Um, and when you're dealing with a card game, it's obviously easier to keep track of numbers and then assign names off later. For example, queen, jack, king, stuff like that. Um, diamonds, hearts, clubs, right? Uh, so suit zero would be clubs, and then suit one, diamonds, and suit two, hearts, and then suit three, spades, right? Or, or whatever. That would make sense. Uh, and then int rank, zero would be like the ace, and one would be, or, you know, if you want to really, I guess you could make the zero um, the king, and then rank one, that would make sense. Wait a minute, I would make, I would try to make it so rank one was the ace. Yeah, so I would say rank zero would be the king, maybe, and then rank one would represent the ace, and rank two would represent the two, and rank three would represent the three. Um... <clears throat> I would consider something like that, rank zero being king. Um, because if the rank one equals ace and the rank two equals two and the rank three equals three, later on you're going to be able to match those things up a little bit more easily than if it's, it's skewed, but it's up to you. Um, at this point, it really doesn't matter. We're just going to assign a suit and a rank. So we're going to have, say, zero is clubs. We're going to have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, right? And we'll have. Um, <clears throat> excuse me, including zero, 13 cards in the club suit. Now, um, I've got this constructor method, int suit, int rank here, right? And you've got this keyword that you probably haven't seen before, this, all right? And it's kind of, it means that we're going to modify the variable in this class, okay? Um, the global variable suit, not the local variable suit, because when you pass in suit, it's local. So if I were to take it and do this, Right. If I were to say suit equals suit here, all right, well, you've got this local argument that's passed in, and you would just be setting it to itself, right? And then this suit up here would not be modified, right? So I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to put this dot suit to be sure that this suit here, okay, the global suit is modified. And that's kind of how the this works. It allows you to modify a global variable that may have the same name as a local variable. That can happen. It's happening right here. All right, so get your card class set up and pause the video, make sure that's taken care of. 
Okay, the next trick is to uh, create an array of 52 of these. And we're going to do this with a for loop. We're going to do this with two for loops, okay? And what I've done inside of main activity fragment is I've got a card array. I'm going to say, okay, I want an array of the card class. I want an array of these cards. I don't just want one. I want a bunch of them. And I've got this int z that I'm going to use as a counter later on. All right, and then inside of on create view here for my main activity fragment, I have a for loop. And, um, and here's what happens. Okay, so I've got a card, the card array. I'm going to say I want a new array, and I want 52 cards. All right. And I'm going to loop through each suit. For in i equals 0, i is less than 4, i plus plus. So we're going to start with 0. And then the first thing we're going to do is we're going to have another for loop that loops 13 times. All right. <clears throat> and for every 0, we're going to have this value called x. All right. And, you know, I could make this um, a little bit more. I could say int rank equals zero as long as rank is less than four. Rank plus plus. Let's do that. And then I could say int suit. Uh, it's not rank, it's suit. So we're going to have four suits, right? Not four ranks. So suit, suit, suit. All right, so uh, we're going to start with suit zero, and then for every suit, we're going to have we're going to start with int rank equals zero, as long as the rank is less than thirteen. Rank plus plus, and then we're going to create a new card every time, and it's going to have suit and rank. Actually, that should make more sense if we do it like that, right? Um, so we hit suit zero, and we count through thirteen cards, and we just create a new card that's got those values zero one zero. 2, 0, 3, 0, 4, 0, 5, 0, 6, 0, 7. And then once we're all the way through 13, this for loop is done, jumps down, this one's done, uh, suit becomes 1, and then we create 13 ranks. And now we've got 52 cards that all have suits and ranks. Okay, So your goal is to get this for loop here into your main activity fragment on create, set up 52 cards, pause the video, let me know if that's not working, I can help. Okay, so now let's prove it, and let's use that button to just display each card and make sure that everything's working. Because card zero is gonna have um, int suit zero, rank zero, card one, and so on and so forth. Let's print those values. And I'm gonna do that inside of main activity. And what I've done is I've got a text view up here inside of my main activity called TV. And I said, I want this text view to correlate to the text view inside of my fragment. And I'm using fragment get support fragment manager. I'm getting, I'm saying, okay, the fragment I want to handle is main activity fragment. This is just one of those code chunks I asked you to kind of save. Because if we want to manipulate values inside of a fragment from our main class, this is the way to do it. And I said, okay, the text view here that we're going to be working with is fragment.tv. And so that text view that says, hello world, is now encapsulated here. All right. So let's go to click method that we've got our button set up with. All right. And let's make it print some of those values. So I'm going to say um, it's going to be uh, tv.setText. Every time I click the button now, just to be sure, uh, I'm going to say uh, card uh, number. All right, uh, let's see, plus. And it looks like I'm going to have to get a handle on, I've got this fragment here so I can use it. I'm going to say fragment dot uh, card. Uh, let's see. Card number is going to be plus, let's make it uh, A. And then up here at the top, I'm going to say, OK, got it, uh, A equals 0. All right, so the card number is 0. All right, great. And I'm just make this an int. Great. Card number uh, 0. All right. Plus, um, all right. So the card zero is going to have suit, right? Um, plus uh, fragment 
dot uh, card a dot suit. All right. Plus, and I'll explain how this works here. Rank, if you're not sure, rank plus uh, fragment dot card a dot rank. All right, and then I'll, I'll go ahead and I'll say A plus plus every time we click the button. Okay, so now every time we click the button, uh, we're gonna have that text view set the text card number A, which starts off as zero. And it's gonna print um, the suit, it's gonna print the word suit, and then it's gonna find the first card, which is card at position zero, which we initialized in our for loop, and it's gonna print the value that's been loaded into suit there, right? And then it's gonna go rank, and it's gonna go fragment.card A rank. All right, which is zero rank. So it's going to print zero, 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 one, zero, two, and you know, card three is going to have the rank of uh, you know zero, two, right? Um, and so, okay, so let's test this and see if it works. Let's give this, uh, let's give this the go. I bet you it crashes because I haven't tested it. Something's got to go wrong. Let's find out. Here we go. Zero error, zero warning. So hey, there's something. I bet I hit the button and it crashes. Let's find out. All right, there we go. Card number zero, suit zero, rank zero. Okay, so I hit the button and I'm going to increase the value of A to one. And the first card has a suit of zero and a rank of one. Card two has a suit of zero, a rank of two. All right, and once I get to 12, you can see the suit goes up, right? And the rank goes up. So I've got 52 cards, each with a suit and a rank. Now watch, it'll crash when I get to four because it'll go out of bounds here. All right, so the next click, it's going to crash because... 51 cards is 0 through 52, and I've got an array of 52, so if I go out of bounds, it crashes, right? And that's fine for now. Okay, so uh, if you've got that set up to where you can click the button, uh, let me know. That's, uh, that's a big grade to get that card deck set up in order. And uh, it's time to move on to the next video. Thank you.